Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who System 1 video and today I'm doing a, another Doctor Who action figure review. Now I haven't done one of these for a long 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 time. Now my reasons are because um, I just haven't, haven't got round to this review for ages, lots of other stuff, college work, blah blah blah, etc etc. Life, basically. Um, so yeah, um, also I'm doing it here rather than where I used to have it, which was on the floor uh, and stuff. So yeah, I'm kind of kneeling on the floor, which isn't very comfortable. So if I sound like I'm in agony, that's probably why. Uh, best to probably get a chair, but I pff, couldn't be bothered. Also, another reason for just generally the Doctor Who one specifically, if you're uh, wondering why I haven't done one of those reviews for a long time, is because... I much prefer the five inch figures, and obviously, if you're if you um, are aware, the five inch figures um, aren't running anymore, and the three point seven five inch ones. Now, I did last time I went to Forbidden Planet at um, Free Comic Book Day. I wanted to get a foretold figure, but anyway, onto this review, which is of David Tennant in the blue pinup suit. We'll go through the detail first. It is uh, decent. It's just a variant. It's a variant on David Tennant in 3.75 inch scale, which is kind of annoying because, you know, we've got a bajillion in the 5 inch range, you know, so, yeah. But nonetheless, is very good. Good hair sculpt. Good. Like, they've got even the little creases and the stuff there. On the back, you've got their creases and so on and so forth. And you've got the base plate, the DWM, uh, DWM, DW base plate, red base plate. Um, you've got the tie, which is a bit skew whiff, really, if you look closely on mine. Um, and then you've got a bit of dark blue uh, paint on mine, if you look closely, if it focuses. There on the collar, which is really irritating. Now, it really does look like David Tennant. Um, you know, like shrunk down in a shrink ray, which is pretty neat, really. It's just a very basic humanoid figure, really. So it's not massive to uh, be amazed by. But comparing it to the 5-inch counterpart, which has lots and lots of dust on it, because it's been on my uh, shelf for countless years, um, it is pretty much, I don't know, I'd say it is an exact replica of this one. But just generally, you can get so much more detail in the in the in the uh, stripes of the pins and the pin-up suit and the the glasses and and whatnot. This one doesn't have the glasses, but you know you get the point. The hair sculpts better on the five-inch one, whereas this one's also more of a modern sculpt. I feel like this is his hair in more like the fiftieth, where actually the suit contrasts that because the suit is during his sort of um, earlier sort of stories. So yeah, that kind of contradicts that, but I guess that's just a little niggle that I've got because I'm pedantic and nitpicky like that and narcissistic. <laughs> um, but aside from that, the boots, the the, the boots, the trainers, the con uh, yeah, Converse uh, are pretty much the exact same, except I feel like on this one, you can't get as much detail because of obviously the size of them, so they'd look just kind of like baby shoes compared to those ones where they actually look like big ones. Uh, um, basically on the back they both look the same, just the same stuff there. No, amazing. Basic articulation for a humanoid figure, you know, goes 90 degrees, in at the elbows, wrists do full 360. Um, head does full 360, but it is pretty, um, what is it, like, kind of squishy and, and whatnot, which is kind of weird. Um, knees do, you know, the knee joint. Knee joint. I don't think the feet move full 360, no, the dirt, which is fine, really. And I think the waist can do full 360 as well, and the hands can do full 360. And the Sonic, you get the little Sonic, which is basically an exact uh, replica of the 5 inch version of the Sonic. This is the 5 inch one, you're not getting this one. You're getting this little Diddy version of this magnificent Sonic, apparently. Um, so, yeah, it's basically your average um, humanoid David Tennant 
variant figure. Um, so I wouldn't rush to stores to get this one. Um, I think it retails for six ninety nine. What do I give it out of ten? Um, I give it a well earned uh, six out of ten. It's an average figure. It's not amazing. I wouldn't rush out to get this one. If anything, it is just a uh, a missable figure. Really, it's not to run home. Uh, you know, it's not to run to the stores about, you know, it's not massively different or new like the Foretold figure, the Skullbox Blitzer, you know, it's or, or, or any of those two figures, it's neither of those, it's just another variant of a figure that we've got so many variants of in the 5 inch, so I don't even see why they did it of uh, this one, but I guess it's because they know that it'll sell and stuff, so yeah, again, apologies if, um, if you've been annoyed that um, that I haven't done any Doctor Who figure uh, reviews in a long time, it's because, as I say, other stuff got in the way, and uh, just generally, there's not many figures anymore, really, as as many as there used to be, and yeah, I don't really like the 3.75 inch ones, and the Wave 4 ones are extremely difficult to get, and I think I've got all the Wave 3 ones, and I've reviewed pretty much most of them. I think I've reviewed, this is the last one of Wave 3 from what I've got to, for, for what I've got um, as a collector to review, and then that's it really for 3.75 inch Wave 3. Anyway, for me, uh, I really want to get the Mummy um, and the other figures, so yeah, as I say, uh, a well earned 6 out of 10 for the David Tennant in blue pinup suit. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.